The Kaleido Matchmaker is a visualization technique that allows us to compare the effect of clustering algorithms on multiple groups of dimensions. This is desirable, for example, in molecular biology, where clustering is used to find genes with similar expression. This video will walk you through an analysis session using the Kaleido Matchmaker, from data preparation to detailed exploration of clusters. Input is typically loaded into Kaleido as a multidimensional table. First, we split the dimensions into similar groups. Having grouped the experiments, we can now run a clustering algorithm and compare the results with the Kaleido matchmaker. Initially, we see an overview where all grouped dimensions are shown as heat maps. In a heat map, red indicates a high value, black a normal, and green a low value. The heat maps are clustered and sorted. The groups can be rearranged and duplicated. Ribbons connect the different clusters. We immediately see which clusters stay largely the same and where genes change clusters. By clicking a cluster, curves are drawn for the genes in this ribbon showing their location in other groups. Hovering over one of the ribbons draws curves for the connected genes. To compare the distribution of multiple clusters, we can use colored brushing. Alternatively to the ribbon mode, we can choose to render curves. This can be advantageous for small datasets where detailed relations are immediately visible. We use a new bundling technique that minimizes crossings at the center to achieve nice looking and meaningful results. Now we want to reduce the number of groups to look at three of them more closely. We do so by dragging the window in the group bar to include only those groups we want to see. To explore relations in detail, we use the mouse wheel to zoom into the detail mode. Animated transitions help the user understand layout changes. Here is an interesting pattern in the data. We now can select clusters, which are then shown enlarged in the center. At the same time, all the clusters from the other group that contain one of the genes of our selected cluster are enlarged as well. Notice that elements not in the source cluster are hidden, as indicated by this caption, but can be shown by clicking this button. When we select a gene in any of the detail heat maps, it and its neighbors are enlarged using orthogonal stretching and captions are shown. When many clusters are selected, identifying individual items is sometimes tedious. To be able to look at a cluster more closely, we can enable orthogonal stretching for heat maps, which always shows us the active heat map enlarged. As soon as a user has identified an interesting cluster or gene, he can use the context menu to trigger several actions provided by the Kaleido framework. For this use case, we've prepared three replicates of the same group. We have clustered all groups with k-means and identical parameters. Now we apply the affinity propagation algorithm to the second group. We notice that the affinity algorithm has produced a better clustering result. For example, this cluster is homogeneous, while its members are spread out over several clusters in k-means. We now want to have a look at how the hierarchical clustering algorithm performs compared to the others. After clustering with the algorithm, we initially have only two groups. Therefore, we adjust the cutoff in the dendrogram. 
Going back into the overview, we notice that the clustering results differ from affinity propagation, but look valid. Comparing the hierarchical clustering with k-means, however, reveals the same weaknesses of k-means we discovered before.